extractive reconstruction. Uh, dear chairperson, dear colleagues, reconstruction stage and treating uh, uh, locomotor tumors is uh, one of the major ones, especially when we talk about the tumors of lone bones. Uh, uh, this, uh, the incidence rate is well known, and it's not very high. And uh, uh, then the five-year survival of patients with bone sarcomas is about 70%. And uh, more and more in our practice, we see bone metastasis. Bone metastasis has a short place after uh, liver and uh, lung metastasis, and it could be one of the first uh, manifestation of a tumor or cancer process or cancer disease, or sometimes it could manifest with pathological fracture uh, from 5 to 30 percent, according to different uh, researchers. This slide shows the dynamics during the last 10 years of the mortality uh, indices in the Russian population. Because of the uh, lung and liver metastasis, we see uh, stable uh, negative growth, and we consider that it's related to the uh, appearance of sarcoma group in 2009 and implementation of diagnostic and combined treatment standards in the regions. Uh, the most frequent metastases are seen in bones in case of uh, uh, breast, uh, thyroid, uh, glands, uh, and uh, tumors, which has uh, good, uh, so to say, results of uh, pharmacotherapy, which considerably improves survival rate. And if combined treatment has never been provided, if patient remained untreated, then uh, one year survival, regretful, reaches only 13%. First of all, it is uh, related to the fact that patients are outside of treatment protocols. They develop hypostatic complications, uh, com comorbidities decompensate, and patient finally die, uh, dies. The main task to, when diagnosed in our locomotor system tumors, we need to detect uh, local tumor cells and we need to stage the disease adequately and also we need to plan uh, surgery on the basis of the um, obtained date during the walk-up. Uh, um, patient management choice depends on the tumor morphology, uh, tumor uh, spread, and on other factors when we should take into account uh, presence of primary lesion, uh, meaning the tumor morphology. And also another very important factor is uh, that if patients uh, had uh, previously any surgery, then uh, we should consider if patient is adequate. Patients with pathological uh, fractures, they go to orthopedic uh, hospitals, and patients are offered various uh, stabilization scenarios. In case of primary tumors, uh, the management depends on the uh, malignancy um, rate. In case of bone metastasis, uh, uh, the uh, life expectancy is of importance, and uh, reconstruction stage could be presented uh, when treating locomotive tumors um, with different options, starting from microsurgery and deprocessing uh, the deprocessing uh, of large uh, joints. Uh, use of follow autographs, 3D printing is used still uh, more, more and more. Um, vessel reconstruction makes possible for us when, when, when the tumor invaded uh, major vessels, we can resolve the issue of local control. Uh, methods of uh, classic methods of uh, reconstruction and surgery, uh, they actually um, close the soft tissue and bone defects. Uh, the main uh, variants of uh, treating uh, lone bone tumors. There could be segmentary section with reconstruction or without it, various osteosynthesis, uh, low invasive interventions. And uh, in case of uh, diaphysis location of the tumor, there could be various uh, interventions possible. Resection uh, with total uh, replacement or uh, diaphysis uh, replacement. Uh, we could use various osteosynthesis uh, options. We could use also carbon alloy implants, auto and alloy grafts. Osteosynthesis, uh, in case of bone metastasis, uh, resolves uh, the issues of stabilization and 
treatment of bone syndrome, uh, but it doesn't provide uh, local control solutions. And for that, in Russia, uh, there have been uh, developed a material in uh, St. Petersburg. It is so-called uh, carbon nanostructural implant, which has a unique properties. It is at the same time bio-inert and bio-integratable. So it could be it can nicely integrate in the body, and due to its uh, specifics, it doesn't form biofilm on its surface. So uh, also, it has a rather high, uh, so to say, support function. It's uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's uh, rather uh, 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 firm and solid. In case of MRI and CT scan, it doesn't produce uh, any um, any issues. And to improve host induction and bone regeneration, we could use uh, materials like uh, combined with droxapatitis or could use uh, chemo or local uh, uh, chemotherapeutic uh, uh, containers. Uh, as to its uh, strengths, it's located between the uh, deficit bone uh, and uh, and uh, and with sponge, sponges bone. In case of uh, uh, long bone pathology, oh, we could nicely use endoprosthesis uh, modules. Here we have a patient from a trauma unit. We did biopsy, verified leoma sarcoma G1. And as a treatment uh, for with local control, we plan uh, to have a uh, um, uh, local secretary resection. Uh, patient underwent six uh, cycles of uh, chemotherapy, and patient uh, uh, was uh, later followed up. Uh, if uh, uh, here in this case uh, reconstruction is required because this uh, technique of the rotation of middle part of uh, uh, shin muscle, uh, he actually almost considerably eliminated all the complications because of tissue deficit. The local control technique with the use of carbon implants, uh, here we see metastatic fracture with considerable pain and limited, uh, uh, and limited uh, mobility. You see here, uh, it was uh, kidney cancer metastasis, and uh, with intersection uh, plus uh, fixation with intramedullary uh, uh, implant. And here with these patients, we have a epithelioid hemangioendothelioma of soft tissues uh, with growth uh, of implant, the wind growth of the implant. Adequate diagnosis and treatment of patients with locomotor system tumors are possible also as a part of multi of MDT. It improves patient survival. It improves number uh, amount of uh, organ saving, organ sparing procedures. Uh, there have been uh, expanded indications to organ sparing treatments. All patients with metastasis in long bones, including uh, pathologic uh, fractures, one uh, have indications for orthopedic uh, treatment in uh, in conditions of the uh, institute of the Tatar. Uh, hospital, we first time uh, introduce uh, techniques of surgery.